Well, hello, happy Thursday. So, I'm starting off this video with a towel on my head and currently making myself a sandwich and it's already like 2, almost close to 2.20. So I'm having a late lunch right now. And I got a pot of peanut butter and jelly on my sandwich. So I'll get that going for me. Alright, welcome to today's video. So, um, it is 3 p.m. right now, and, um, <clears throat> I thought I'd make this video and say hi and just talk about a lot of things in my head that I want to say. And I've been wanting, I've been, or I've had these thoughts in my head for some time now. I've been wanting to talk about them in a video and just haven't had the chance to do it. So I thought I'd sit down and just yappity yap away about it, about whatever it is that's in my head. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I guess let's just get started. Okay, so... I want to talk about one of the members of BTS, and his name is Jungkook. Jungkook. Um, <clears throat> two things. Um, so a couple days ago, um, last weekend, when uh, BTS were in Hong Kong for Mama Awards and um, <laughs> they performed a song called Airplane Part 2 and <clears throat> so there's a clip of Jungkook like walking down the stage by himself <clears throat> um, and it's a video edit of him walking to, um, Beyonce's partition, and it's became a meme since then. <laughs> so, on a BuzzFeed, they say that, um, talking about how everyone's making a meme out of him walking toward like down the stage. It's kind of funny. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, and then another thing, um, that 
I saw, um, this was a day ago, um, that yesterday, I saw, I saw some Twitter yesterday, um, two things were trending, but one, um, <laughs> he, Jungkook, um, <clears throat> got, um, voted, or, I don't really know, um, but it said, um, something about him being in the top 10 most handsome men in the world. Apparently, apparently, I don't know. So, um, I mean, he's only 21 years old. Let's get back straight. No. Um, <laughs> so I'm like, fear is all the button him. I mean, he is cute and fine all over, but like, come on, let's be honest here. I think Jin is the one who is the worldwide handsome in the group, let's <laughs> be real. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Also, I saw on Twitter, that's was trending, that his song, that um, Jungkook's song, Euphoria, what, gold? Um, uh, I don't know. Let me... Hello, let's see. <clears throat> um. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, wait. Um. Oh, BTS Army spark a Twitter mix up as they mistakenly declared the band's song Euphoria went gold meme. Uh, whoops! Hashtag Euphoria went gold went viral on Twitter after the songwriter for Euphoria claimed the BTS song went gold on December 8th, 19th. The BTS army did damage control with hilarious memes. Um, as the BTS army is now saying, Euphoria will always be gold certified in our hearts, but fans were led to wrongly believe that Dunkirk's song, which is lead single of this band's gold certified album, Love Yourself Answer, received recognition for itself in the current recording industry associated in America. The mix-up started with a Reddit thread started by the songwriter for Euphoria, Melanie Fontana, who claimed that Euphoria was gold on December 19th. <clears throat> um... So it says, upon learning that Euphoria didn't actually earn gold status, the hilarious tweets and memes came pouring in. Um. Oh, wait, so it didn't or did it? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Euphoria might not be R-I-A-A -A gold, but it's certified gold in my heart. <laughs> oh, so you're me that it didn't go, didn't go gold? Um. Huh. Oh, so it didn't? Oh. Well, what the heck? <laughs> I thought I did. I thought they're... Okay, never mind. <clears throat> I thought it went gold. I thought they were like, Oh, no, it went gold. Because like, that's the most played song. I thought that's what... I don't know. I'm confused. Did it or not? I guess I didn't. Huh. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Also, um, next thought in my head, um, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> uh, debut. um, so, um, um, yeah, Big Hit Entertainment, um, I guess next year, they're, um, who brought in BTS, they're, like, the, like, the, kind of like how Scooter Braun, like, is for Justin Bieber, kind of like that, but it's for, like, BTS, like, Big Hit Entertainment is, 
happy to us. Like, they're, it's their company or brand, or not brand, whatever. <clears throat> um, but supposedly, they're um, Big Cat Entertainment. They are uh, next year, I don't know when, somewhere in 2019, um, are going to have a new boy band to replace BTS. So that's great. <laughs> um, and I think I've heard uh, stories that about a new girl group forming too in the next coming year from JYP Entertainment too. I don't know if that's true too or not. I don't know. <clears throat> but if it is, I'm all for it. <laughs> I love good girl group in the K-pop world. So, um, from my sources of my phone, um, Bang C Hayuk PD, I don't know, I think that's his name, I don't know how to say his name, um, yeah, so they're, um, I guess, yeah, they're, a new boy group up next year, basically, so that's interesting. Um, <clears throat> wait. Anything else in the news? Uh, no, not really. Um, <clears throat> yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. I think I'll just start my head. Um. Okay, I'm gonna talk about all our stuff, and I don't know what it was. <laughs> oh. Um. So. Um. Mr. J.K. Jungkook posted a video on Twitter last night. Him singing, and it was the most beautiful thing ever. I was like. Um, it was like, I think he must have been in the studio or something, I don't know where he was. He was in a room, sitting with a microphone, in his chair. Looked like a gaming chair to me, like a gaming chair that people use. So, um, is most beautiful thing ever I've ever heard in my life. <clears throat> also, I haven't been doing my book lately, off topic. From BTS, but, um, <laughs> I've been reading a book lately. I've been looking up books yet. Um, I need to start my reading. Seriously, <sighs> and then I gotta work tomorrow too. Tomorrow and Saturday, I gotta work. Um, yeah. Also, side note, <laughs> it's off topic. That BTS are <laughs> okay. My camera fell. Sorry about that. Um. So anyway, I was saying that BTS are in Korea in Seoul. Um, they're not in tour right now. They're on their break. And their, well, I think their next tour is January something next month. I can't remember any of those. Um, hold on. January 12th, and then they're done in like spring, so they, January through April, something they get done with their tour. <laughs> I believe, that if I don't, if that's, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so...
there. Won't be done until like April ish. <clears throat> so yeah. Anyways, that's that. Um, what else? Shit, there's so many things in my head and I'm like, oh. <laughs> what was it? I had so many thoughts about things about... What was it? Frick. <clears throat> um. So... Okay, I want to talk about... Girl groups that I like in K-pop. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna name like four. One, red, okay, no, black, okay, black, pink, and then twice, red velvet, and then the fourth one, what's the fourth one I like to listen to? Uh, red, uh, I think it's, um, um, I don't know what the fourth one's called. Um, well, there's two of them. So I don't listen to them a lot, but here and there I will. Um, there's Mamamoo, and then there's Momoland. That's confusing. <laughs> the, um, it's M-O-M-O -M -O land, like, or Momoland. And then there's Mamamoo. So, they both have M's in the name. Um... And I mostly, I mostly just listen to a lot of K-pop girl artists and groups, less than boy groups. Besides BTS, well, I listen to, I always listen to BTS a lot because I mean, I love them. Um, <laughs> but I don't really listen to any other big. Like, K-pop boy groups that often, as much as I do with the girl side. Um, so... Oh, I'm again. <laughs> okay. But yeah. Um, and I, I... like... I just like, um, my favorite one is Blackpink. I like them, because they're four members. And their songs are like... a are good and one of my favorites I like is um called do 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 <laughs> and then some other one that I like let me look um okay so the songs that I like from them <laughs> yeah search here Um, Boombaya. Oh yeah, that's what it's called. And I like Boombaya, do 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 do, and whistle. It's like, no, no, it's like, something like that. It's like, <laughs> it's like, do 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 do. <laughs> it's a bop. But yeah, um, I just been like <laughs> a fan of K-pop music for like a while, <laughs> like this, like this year, like half, not like all year, but like half the year maybe. I don't really know. Ever since, okay, so ever since I saw BTS like for the first time on TV, that's when I was a fan on K-pop music, and from then on, I was like, oh my god. I like their music, and I like BTS's music, and then I listen to their albums. My favorite album from BTS is the one from last summer, which is Love Yourself, Answer. Well, hello. So my battery ran out space on my camera, so I'm recording a continuation on 
um, on my phone. So I hope that's okay. So, uh, I was talking about K-pop in the last clip before I got cut off. Um, so I was talking about Blackpink, I think. <laughs> yes, I was. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. The song called Whistle is a bop. I like that. Well, Boom Baya. Boom Baya, that's a bop too. It's like one of my favorite songs from them. And uh, Do 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 Do. That's a good one. Hit you for the Do 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 Do. Um, and then twice, I like songs from them. One of my favorites is Where's Love? Or What is Love? What is Love? I think it's called. Um, yeah. What is Love? And then the other song from them I like. Oh, is um, Yes or Yes. <laughs> yes or Wait, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> also, BTS posted some stuff on Twitter early in the morning, around late morning, like talking like 5 in the morning or 8 something, so I was asleep, obviously, so I didn't check my Twitter till when I got up, what up, <laughs> until I got up and talked, so. Yeah, um, they have photos. Well, J Hope posted something, a couple photos. Uh, Jin posted some selfies of him and his pet. I think it's a sugar glider, it's white colored. I think he has two of them. Um, but his pet, I'm not really a fan of his pet. <laughs> Just saying. His eyes are like beady and black and popping out of its head. It's like, Broom. Um, and then I think Suga posted something too, or I think it was Yoongi that did. I don't know. He has a photo of a piano called uh, ASR888. I don't know. <sighs> I'm tired today. <laughs> Anyone else tired besides me? No? Just me? Okay. Um, so, as I was saying, I mean, fuck. Um, I'm gonna go to the photo. Okay, so here's a photo of the piano. Piano. ASR, which means Advanced Sampling Recorder 88 ASR. So I'm assuming that's Yoongi that posted it, because he likes to play the piano, I guess. Um, and then Jin, aka Worldwide Handsome, <laughs> posted a four selfies. So here's the first photo, and then here's another. That one. And then there's that. And that one. That's J Hope. Can't see his face, but he hashtagged it called J Hope <laughs> with emojis on the bottom of the photo. Re representing the photo's caption, I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> um those that one and that so that's about it so and then there's a video of jk singing last night
Also, hold on. Okay. So, another thing I want to talk about, this is random AF, but I have to say it. <laughs> okay, so this is completely nothing to do with anything, but um, I ship also my OTP. <laughs> uh, I haven't told anyone this, but I'm telling you because I want to. Okay, so my OTP in BTS is Taekook. 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 Um, put the name right here for you to see <laughs> in editing when I edit this video. So, um, I like those two, and I also, my other, my other OTP is, um, well, take a look, slash, be, cook, um, and then there's Jimin, um, and there's some, uh, I think it was, oh, oh yeah, is Taeyang and Jimin, Bimin, I think that's what it was, people are shipping too, they're shipping, um, Taeyang and Jimin, Bimin, but, I like them too, but my OTP is, um, Jungkook and Taeyang, aka B. Just had to say that. <laughs> Because I always watch a lot of analysis or videos that had to do with them, those two. Also, I have like, okay, so on YouTube, I have a list, a playlist of BTS videos, like all of the videos that are related to BTS. Like, um, not even joking, like I have a actual legit like playlist of BTS videos, like all in a s separate list. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Cardi B. Cardi B. And I meant it. See, in my recommended list, I'm my home page on YouTube. I see a lot of B BTS related things and stuff that's recommended for me to watch. So uh, if I see something that's BTS related, I'll be like, "Ooh, I'll watch that later," or I'll watch, look at that, watch it on my YouTube. Um, so there's that. Um, my favorite videos I like to watch are like. Uh, there's a channel called Miss Miss U P Miss Miss Up. I don't know. And then there's they have an um another channel called Miss Up uh, Miss U P Plus or something that or like another extra channel. So I go to their extra channel and they have like uh, like another video something different of BTS. Like they post a lot of BTS stuff and I like watching them. Cause they're funny <laughs> and they make me laugh out loud. Lol, lol. Um, and also, I like watching BTS memes or whatever it is. Um, part one thirty nine. <laughs> so the BTS memes slash best new memes twenty eighteen part one thirty nine the most one forty. So yeah. Um. What else? I like when BTS loves Tae Young too much. Oh jeez. <laughs> That's gonna be a funny video. <laughs> I've been watching, um, I always see the same stuff like all the time in the different videos that they post on that channel. But that's okay. Um. <clears throat> but 
But anyway, I was talking about B. I was talking about um, Jungkook and B. Okay, so the reason why I shipped them because they're just like I don't know. They're, they're just so cute together. Like I love like those two are my favorite. Like I just shipped them. Like they're my OTP in my head. Like I get it. Like they all like they don't have time for girlfriends because they're busy. And and I'm gonna get half of that, <laughs> and with their touring life, and they can't get any girlfriends, so they just might as well have each other, you know, <laughs> like whatever. So yeah, um, I mean it sucks. Probably must suck for them because they're like, oh, I wish we had a girlfriend, but like they can't because. They don't have a time, they don't have the time, and they don't have the thing, whatever else, for a girlfriend. I can't think. <laughs> um, don't have time for one, and don't have the something else. I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I always see, like, oh, when I'm watching analysis, like, videos analysis of, like, Jungkook and, um, Kim Young, like, together, like, whatever it is, just, like, they're chemistry together, um, and the way they look at, the way that they look each other, at each other, it's just, like, I know there's, like, Something connection with them, with those two. Like there's something there with them because they always like look at each other from a distance. Like even though one of them might seem like they're ignoring each other, but the other one's really looking at the other one from far distance without knowing. So yeah, it's just like they're so cute. Like I just like those two. Like <laughs> like I don't know. Like they should just kiss each other already. Like gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's like, go! <laughs> no. Uh, but all realness, though, they are my favorite. And they, like, they support each other, and there's always ups and downs with them. And sometimes there's, like, tension between them, too, sometimes, when they're, um, if they're at, I don't know, I'm trying to say, <laughs> but, yeah, I'm what, like, I always have my theories and thoughts and feelings about them, but I just like them in general, like, yeah. <sighs> so, um, yeah, that's my reason, that's my whole thing about Taekook. I get too involved and too deep into the analysis videos of them. Like, my mind just goes so deep. <laughs> like, there's always, I'm always, like, I'm always watching videos and Searching take cook analysis videos or looking at um, fan art of them together. There's like my OTP. Just my favorite. And it's there's this clip on I saw that's funny. Um, <laughs> so when they were in Hong Kong, like a weekend ago, last whatever it was. For their mama award, <clears throat> um. Well, they except one time they went up on stage to accept the speech, and Jungkook wasn't there, so it's just a six of them. There wasn't seven, just six. And Nam June, he was like, looked like he must have been counting to see how many members there were because he was looking around like there's like one, two, three, four, five. He was like looking around like okay, there's six. Where's the other one? So then he like whispered to Jin, he's like, pss, pss, pss. And then Jin was like, 
like, kind of was like, don't know. <laughs> like, he didn't know the answer. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> he, I think that's he. That's probably what he said. He was like, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what they were. I'm assuming he, I'm assuming Namjoon was probably like, where's Jungkook? And then Jenna's like, how should I know? Um, so everyone was all like, assuming the, um, not the worst, but we're assuming we're like, oh, he's probably, it's, we're all, <laughs> all the army fans were like, he's probably in the bathroom <laughs> to get a dump <laughs> or something. Like, whatever number one, he's probably, Taking that dump in the bathroom. <laughs> I don't really know if he if he was or not. Maybe he wasn't. I don't know. I saw uh, Instagram. I read a comment on Instagram in some video that's on my search page that someone said that he wasn't in the bathroom and that he had a back that his back was hurting and had back pain, so he he had to go off the stage for a moment or had take him off stage because his back was hurting and then something I don't really know. I don't know. That could be maybe that was it. Maybe that's probably why he wasn't on the stage with the other members because he probably was like, oh my back hurts. I gotta go away for a moment because my back hurts. I don't really know. <laughs> then what else? Oh. There's a clip on Instagram that I saw of Jungkook when there was a, um, come kind of towards the end when, the, when they give, when they all were giving their speech for the Artists of the Year Award. Um, and they were all crying, and I didn't see it in the video, but I just saw it on Instagram. Um, I haven't, there's a video, <laughs> there's Jungkook and he's, I think he was crying maybe, and... <laughs> They're saying that he yeet his tears away, so he was like, <laughs> trying not to cry. <laughs> like, he was just having his tears. He went, yeet. <laughs> so, yeah. This, there's that. It's kind of oh, funny. Oh. I don't know what this video is, honestly. I was trying to do a vlog today. It didn't really make cannot be uh, <laughs> what anyone's doing. Um, honestly, though. I mean, I haven't vlogged in quite some time, so I guess I don't know what this video I don't know what this video is. It's a vlog, but also not one, because I've been yapping too much. So, yeah. Um. And. I don't think I have anything else to say. I've been. I'll check out Netflix. Like I, have, I have literally a lot of shows on Netflix to watch. I have like too many. I've been watching a lot of shows here and there. Right now, I'm, I've been watching like Chinese drama shows on Netflix that I've been liking. One's called um, Take My Brother Away. That's good so far. It's so supposedly a comedy. And that's. I'm in episode 10? 9, 10? I don't know. And there's another show that I've been kind of. I'm off, been, haven't been watching much. It's called Here to Heart. That's a Chinese drama show. Kind of. Um, that's like about 43 ish minutes long. So, yeah. It's like half hour, maybe. It's really long. It's about episodes, too. And then there's some art shows that I'm watching. Like, Fuller House and the whole other shows. That I have on my list that are coming out this end of the month. So I'll never run out of shows to watch. It took me a whole year to watch all of them and get done. My god. Oh, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to finish all of them. Got too many shows to watch. Ugh.
and it's hard to watch all of them when I'm busy with work too, so it's like more hard. Oh boy, you boy. Well, I'm gonna end the video here. So, if you like this video, whatever it was, um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you next time, whenever that is. Who knows? Um, and thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't, I would much appreciate that. And comment below what anything that I talked about in this video because I talked about too much thing, too many things. So, Whew. um. Oh, I know. Comment below what you're doing for the holidays or Christmas. And let me know. And I hope you guys have a nice day. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.